The Cal 9500P is a 1 16th DIN programmable controller for temperature and process applications. It accepts standard instrument input signals and has full PID control functionality. There are a total of three outputs, either solid state drive SSD, relay or analog. The programmer function offers up to 31 programs or profiles with up to 126 segments. Program functions can be ramp, step or soak. The power supply required is 100 to 240 volts AC. When the controller is powered up for the very first time, we will go into the initial setup display and we will see IMPT on the top and none on the bottom. This is a menu where we can set up the input, the type of input that is going to be applied to the controller. Here is where we can select the type of input signal. To enter the menu press the star and the up arrow. This will take you into the selection menu. Various types of thermocouple. Type J, that is a K. LN, RTD, linear. Um, I'm going to select RTD. To look at the other parameters at this level, press the up arrow. Here for example we can select the units, either degree centigrade or Fahrenheit, a different level, various other options. Now to move to a different level, press the scroll and the up or the down arrow. Here at level 1 we can set, uh, among other things, the PID terms, um, band, integral, derivative and so on, cycle time, set point limits. To move to the next level, press the scroll, the up, that will take you to level 2, which you've just been in, uh, to set up the sensor input. Level 3, At level 3 we can select the type of outputs relay, SSD and so on. If we want to create a program or a profile we have to go to level P. So hold the star, the down arrow, P. In level P we can create up to 31 programs and a total of up to 126 segments. We can set up the action to be uh, a step, soak, or, or dwell, or a ramp. We'll have a look at um, setting up a typical program, a typical profile. This video will explain how to use the Cal 9500P as a profiler. This is the program that we want to run. We want it to ramp up to 40 degrees C and then stay there for 5 minutes and then ramp up to 60 degrees C, stay there for 10 minutes and then drop down to 40 and then ramp down to 30 and we want that on a loop this is where we can set the profile so let's go through it we want program 1 the profile is split up into segments okay and this particular profile has seven segments uh, well there's actually six but segment seven uh, will be loop so that the profile runs in a loop once it gets to the end 
it will carry on, it will go back to the beginning. So, the first segment is type ramp. Okay, set point ramp. And the set point ramp rate is 2, uh, so it will be a, a steady ramp rate. Okay. The target set point is 40, 40 degrees. So once it ramps up to 40, that's our target, it will go to segment 2. And I'll show you the segment 2 settings in a minute. Segment 2. Okay, so segment 2 is where we want it to use the soak function. Okay, and that is set up for, yeah, type soak, 5 minutes. Okay, that's segment 2. Segment 3. type we want it to ramp up again to 60 degrees so set point ramp for segment 3 and the ramp rate this time is 4 and the target set point for it to ramp up to is 60 degrees C that's segment 3 Segment 4, again we want it to soak, type is soak, for 10 minutes this time, there we go, 10. Segment 5, step, this is where we want it to step down to 40 degrees C. Target set point 40. Segment 6 is where we want it to ramp down to 30 degrees. And the ramp rate 2 this time. Target set point 30. And finally, segment 7 is where we want it to loop. So at the end of the program uh, it will loop. For further details of Cal products please visit our website wardindustries.co.uk